Okay, so today what we have set up for, let's just see, do I have an agenda? Oh, there we go. All right. Wow, we're already on the fifth episode, guys. That's so silly. Today times five's agenda. We actually uh, actually planned some things for today. This is great. So we're gonna get into something about my friends are weird and crazy. My friends. We're mostly gonna be on some horrible relationship stories. Yay! Because they wanted me to continue with this theme every once in a while that relationships are overrated. Or relationships are garbage. And uh, by the end of this segment, I might actually believe that. No, I don't, I don't think I could, but <laughs> that's beside the point. Not that I've had any semblance of what might have been a good relationship, but you know, there's there's got to be that hope. Maybe our last bullet will be hope. <laughs> or maybe that'll just be a theme. Um, so we got some relationship stories. We should talk about those relationship shoulds. Shoulds. That never are two exclamation points. And then that hope piece, which... There's a manga, you have homework. If you, uh, is it a manhwa? I don't remember if it's Japanese or Korean, but it is the saddest manga ever. Um, no, if you, literally, if you go type into Google, what is the saddest manga ever? This manga will come up, I swear. Um, it, <laughs> it might be number one, three and five. Like, it's, it's, it's a really sad story. The main character is a dog. Like, it, it, it can't get worse unless it's puppies. Like, it, literally the saddest manga ever. If you are a comic book reader, go read that, that manga. And, uh, I mean, I love reading tragedies. It's, it's horrible, but I love reading manhwa tragedies. They're phenomenal stories. They're literally the best stories that I've ever found. And I, I, all I've done in my life is read. Uh, they're the hands down the best stories that I've ever read. Most of them have happy endings, even for like as tragedies go. Um, usually, like. It ends up happy. Um, I think I've only read two out of my years of reading them for endless hours. Um, I think I've only run into two that had one was it was kind of a bittersweet ending, but it's how it should have ended, and the other one was just sad. <laughs> uh, maybe we should do a, a segment on a manga, but that one was a manhwa. It, it was a sad love story. Oh, that's such a good one. I should go reread it. Um, anyway. I own the live action show too. Ha, ha, ha. It's it's similar but not quite the same. Um, I actually haven't finished it. I owned it for a few years now and I, I've not finished it. Um, anyway. <laughs> I I took some notes, so they're in my phone, so you might hear me clicking a little bit. I'm not texting, I or I, I don't plan to text, but um, I'm looking at the wrong note. Oh, okay. So I'm going to start with, uh, I had one pair of friends that, um, it was my, one, of, one of my friends, my friend's brother's sister, which is just my friend's sister, but um, she ended up being, becoming one of my really good friends. Um, but she was seeing this guy for about eight years before they became, like, officially, like, boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> it was, uh... They... 
There were, like, sometimes when no one was sure if they had even talked in months, where, like, you, you'd be like, hey, your name, I don't, I probably won't say her name. Um, she's one of those names that could go either way, so, um, we'll call her Sam, another name that can go either way. So, my, my friend Sam, she was dating, what's, what's the, I, I don't care about the guy's name. But I mean, keep referring back to my, my friend Sam. And she was dating this guy forever. So, like, sometimes you, you would ask try and ask her about him, and she'd, she'd get really mad about it. She, uh... There was one time when... I don't remember if her mom or uh, one of the brothers said something um, about the guy. Uh, I keep on wanting to say his name. Which is... <laughs> Horrible, I should, uh, I should name him something else. We'll call him Eric. So, <laughs> just for my benefit. Just so he has a name, so I don't accidentally say his name. Uh, okay, so Sam and Eric. Um, and there was one time when one of her family members said something like, Oh, like, uh, you, like you haven't I said anything about Eric in a while. And she just, like, like went off about how, like, she doesn't have to, like, kind of one of those spiels about, like, how, like, I don't need a man in my life, or, like, I don't need a man to be whole, like, blah, 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 like, kind of spiels. It was similar to that, but not quite. Of just, like, like, one of those, like, I'm an individual, like, I, like, when, when, like, I'm doing things, like, he doesn't need to be a part of it, like, he's not a part of my life, he's, like, there, like, I can just be me, and, like, they know it's just like one of those kinds of deals and uh they did uh like it was just a couple of years ago they they were together for eight years um or not together for eight years <laughs> now it's it's upwards of uh like 10 10 11 12 years i don't know i can't remember how many years ago was it three years ago so it'd be about like 11 years, I think, now. I ate altogether too many banana muffins. Ugh, like, three too many. Uh, and I forgot about my tea, which is probably cold. Um, but yeah, that was just, uh... That, this is, I think, the only happy story that I'm telling. It's Sam and Eric. They finally got together, and they're so happy, and they have a flat in uh, the city, and it's just great. They're great. Um, and I, like, now you can talk to her about him and she doesn't get mad. It was just a phase. <laughs> um, so it was my next one. Okay, this this story. Okay, this is one of those stories that I was going to tell in the first video, I think. Um, that I thought about it like toward the end of the video. Oh, man. So one of my friends, we'll call him Peter. Oh, poor Peter. Um, his name isn't even similar to Peter. <laughs> and, but anyway, uh, so my friend Peter, we had been talking for like a few years. We were pretty good friends by then. We would like share just like little like life things here and there. Like I'd be like, oh my god, I just had a test and it was horrible. And we spoke in Spanish a lot. And uh, it was just like, you know, we were just like two random people much older than I am, and he would just, like, kind of, like, share life experiences sometimes. Well, he had been seeing this girl, well, not really seeing this, this girl, like, uh, it's just, like, a co-worker that he would go out for drinks with after work, and he had been thinking about, like, making that into more, but he was married, so he finally decided the one day that he loved his wife, and he was gonna stop seeing her entirely, like, not even friends anymore, like, cause they would, they would just go out for coffee after work sometimes and talk. And that was it. So he, he decided, I'm not gonna talk to her anymore. And he went home and he told his wife, and she was actually kinda happy about it, and handed him the divorce papers that she had been keeping around for a while thinking about giving to him because she had been seeing somebody else for like upwards of two years at that point and had been wanting to get a divorce. 
So that's my friend Peter's story. He has many stories like that. His life is so up and down. Um, yeah, so that's my friend Peter's story. Um, the one that I'm going to tell today. I probably have more Peter stories. Hopefully I'll remember that his name is now Peter. Oh, so this story. Um, I almost just said her name out loud. Um, we'll call her Kelsey. And so my friend Kelsey, she was with, she always had uh, some ups, ups and downs with relationships um, throughout her life, but uh, she just had like one of those relationships where she was just like in love with this one guy and he just was one of those people who like, he just didn't care about other people. So they, like, they dated for a while, and he was just never around. Like, he'd ignore her. He'd just, like, go places. And <laughs> that's kind of the second guy that she ended up dating, too. But she just, she never got over that guy. And, uh, now she's married to this second boyfriend who's kind of the same way where he'll, he'll just, like, they, they're just always together. They're one of those couples who's, like, attached to the hip. And he'll just, like, take her over to his friend's house, and he'll just dump her in a corner and hang out with his friends. And she's just completely content to just sit there. She always looks like she's, like, dead, because she, all she does is work. And it's just, that's just, like, how their relationship is. And, I, like, when I saw that they were getting married, like, when I first heard it, I was just like, wow. It's one of those those kinds of things. So that's Kelsey's sad story. Poor Kelsey. I. It's just like one after another. Um. Okay. The story. The story. Um. Which do I name this person? We'll call him Tyler. So my friend Tyler. He had been on and off with the same girl for like. It was like 12 or 15 years. Like it was a long time. And it was, I think it was last year, he met this girl online and, well, like, he just, like, you could tell it was different with this girl than, like, the girl he had been with forever and or, like, any other girl. It was just, like... Like, the two of them, like, it was just it. Like, it should have been. Um, and then he, like, eventually, like, I remember, like, some of the conversations. Like, he, he would talk about it. And uh, he said that, like, they had talked for a while. And then, and they had, no like, talked for, like, years where it was, like, one of those, like, they had just kind of talked. But then, like, last year they... They, like, talked about, like, relationship, like, progress, kind of, like, where, like, he said, he admitted that he liked her kind of thing. Well, like, I guess he, like, told her, like, oh, like, I'm in a relationship, and I, like, I've been with this girl forever, and, like, I don't really, like, it would be really difficult for me to break up with her. We've broken up before, but I always get back together with her. Like she, like she's just the person I've been with forever, and it's that would be hard for me, like kind of thing. Like, and he's like a really emotional kind of person, so for him to break up with that girl would be insane. And uh, she's told him that she was also dating some like abusive jerk. And for, for like, it must have been like four or five months there, they were talking about breaking up with their significant others and getting together. And it ended up not happening, and he stopped talking to her for, I think, until the summer. And he said that he was, he was just online, and he just happened to run into her in a chat room. They, like had just both randomly, like, been there, and they started talking again. He said, like, that he had still liked her and everything. And then 
he actually did break up with his girlfriend that he had been with forever because she had broken up with her boyfriend earlier in the summer. And it was, like, I thought they were going to get together and everything, and it was going to be this, like, perfect fairy, t fairy tale kind of thing that he was going to go move out where she lived. And then, apparently, she just said, I, like, I don't want to go out with you. And he, uh, it was, he was crushed. Uh, there's, there was just, like, nothing. It was completely out of left field. Like, they had been talking about getting together, and he, like, he went through the whole thing to, like, break up with his girl, and then they talked about getting together, talked about getting together, and she was just like, I can't do this. And it was just, like, so hard to watch him go through that. And, like, I was there for, like, the play-by-play. -play. He would always, like, tell me updates and everything, and it was just, like, the next time I saw him, and I just, like, we, we had been, like, talking about other things, and all of a sudden, like, conversation kind of lulled, so that was what he had been talking about a lot. Usually, like, the second we would get together, he would just start talking about her, and this, this time he hadn't, so I kind of figured something was up, but I wasn't sure if maybe it was just, like, they had had a fight or something like that. So I asked, which I, I almost never ask people about, like, personal things, and, like, the conversation lulled, and I just wasn't sure what to say, so I was just like, oh, so how's it going with that girl? And he just, like, laid it on me, and I was just like, I'm so sorry that I asked. I should have let you, like, mull it over for a little bit longer, but that's how it happened. And he said, like, he was just, after that, like, he just didn't want to talk to her anymore. Um, I haven't talked to him in a couple of months, so I don't know if he ended up getting back together with that girl he had been with for a very long time. But yeah, that's, uh, that's poor Tyler. So those, those are, uh, one, uh, one good story. Sam and Eric are a great couple. And they were, they were just like, when they were together, they were just like, just like one of those couples is just like just great where like they they would like kind of bicker sometimes but it was it would always be like cute it wouldn't be that like those that one couple that always fights and you're so sick of them like and they like they never were like that like we're so into each other like they're they just two people and they were just right for each other they were friends for a very long time before they, like, even were, like, officially dating, and it's, now they're living together, and it's, it's just, they're just a cute couple. Peter had a horrible story. Kelsey's story is just, like, so sad. Her life is kind of sad. Maybe I'll talk about Kelsey's life one day. Um, and then Tyler. My poor friend Tyler. He's had a lot of ups and downs as well. Um, I guess to be fair with, uh, Peter's story, like, he was gonna cheat on his wife anyway, which is, uh, I mean, he didn't is the difference for, like, his wife just full-on had been, which I guess, like, if you were gonna hear that somebody had been cheating on you, like, it might as well be, like, right after you almost cheated on them. Or it was like, you know, that marriage was not supposed to work out. Just, like, things... He, like, I don't know. There's There was a lot of, like, other stuff in the back backstory of that for just, uh... The, like, other, like, reasons why they just... They just never really, like, worked out anyway. Um, Kelsey, like... I, like, wish she'd, like, rebounded to any other guy. Because the, the guy she's with is just a jerk. And it's just, like, sad. Because she's just, like, such a nice person. She's just one of those nice, quiet people. She's been through a lot. And I just wish she had gotten with, like, just, like, you know, your, your like, average, just nice guy. And uh, that's not how it worked out. It's often how it does not work out. Um, and then Tyler, to be fair with his, uh, that girl was way out of his league. And it, uh, 
She's just like in a different world kind of like thing of just like he's he's like a really free spirit. He just uh for a long time he didn't work or like even like want to work and she did the like whole like oh like I'll take care of you like I like you enough where I would take care of you like if you were going to be a stay-at-home dad I would be okay with that. That's why, like, I thought I thought they were gonna work, like, so much. Like, who says that? Who who likes their guy enough? I think I've only had something similar to that, like, once, where it was like a guy, where it was like, ah, oh, I just. But no, like, I think uh, dual income households are phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I would prefer, really. I mean, if if you really loved that person, but uh, obviously that was not there in this case. Otherwise, she wouldn't have uh, backed out. Poor Tyler. I feel re I felt so bad. Just like I, I brought it up and everything. So, um, oh, I guess there was a fifth story I was gonna mention. Um, with a, there was somebody. This is a personal story. Um, somebody that I almost dated, um, we talked about, how much did I name this person? I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just put me in here. Put Lily in there. Okay, so, uh, <coughs> my story. There's this guy that I met, and, uh, we just, we were, like, two of those people where, like, just as friends, like, people thought, like, like, in the first, like, two weeks that we had been together, like, I would invite him, like, places. And even, like, my friends, like, they thought that we had known each other for, like, ten years. Like, we were just that, like, close immediately. And, like, just us talking was phenomenal. Like, we just, we just really clicked. And, like, even my friends, like, really noticed it whenever they would see the two of us together. Like, it was just, there was something different about the two of us, about this guy and me. So... Um, like, you know, I, I, like, I had known him for a little while, and then, I like, you know, I was just, like, walking around, and I saw him walking around with another girl, and he, like, I tried to, like, pretend I didn't notice, and he, like, kind of was just like, oh, oops, um, and then we talked about it, he, like, invited me out to lunch, like, later that day, and, uh, said that he was going after this other girl, so. <laughs> That's kind of my, uh, him and I had, we, we had talked about getting into a relationship, but I had, like, literally just dumped my, uh, one boyfriend, so I was just kind of like, you know, like, I don't know you at all, like, we just, like, we've known each other for, like, two days. I would like to get to know you a little bit, like, I really enjoy you. And I would really like to date you, but I just want to get to know you a little bit better first. And good thing, because, uh, yeah, he, uh, didn't see things the same way. So, I was just like, okay, and he, he did the, like, well, I still want to be friends, like, we're, like, we, like, really click and everything, and I was just like, I don't want to be friends with somebody like you. Especially, like, since we'd kind of, like, had the, like, like, we wanted to date kind of thing. And just, like, having that, like, hang there while we were friends. And, like, if he had, like, dumped that girl, like, if he would have just turned around and been like, now I want to get together. Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't want to have to go through that. So it's just like, I don't want to be friends with somebody like you. I'm sorry. Which I usually don't do, but I just... But, like, I kind of had to with uh, that situation. So <laughs> that's how that went. And uh, we're already at, almost at that, like, 25-minute mark with just these stories. So um, this was also not a two truths and a lie. These are all true stories. Um, I changed names. I don't think I changed any details. That was straight up. Um, I think I left some stuff out. There was, uh, 
definitely some stuff that I, I left out, some details. Um, some of these stories, like Tyler's story, I could probably go on forever about, like, ups and downs that they went through. Um, or just, like, more about his background with his first girlfriend. But, you know, it was just, uh, you know... Some, like, <laughs> I guess instead of two, two truths and a lie, or, like, four four truths and a lie, like, we have uh, four crappy stories, and, oh, there's a good one! So, uh, let's, let's pull our agenda back up to get, uh, that's the wrong, wrong notepad. Um, to get, uh, I told a bunch of relationship stories. We, uh, we did talk about some shoulds that never are, um... A little bit. That's that's not really what I wanted it to be, though. So maybe we'll get rid of that. Um, there's definitely some hope in my Sam and Eric story. Those two, yeah, they they like after like seeing a couple like that, you've got a little bit of hope. But uh, you know, some really shitty things go between people, and uh, we'll get back to this this clause of uh, most relationships are garbage yeah so here's here's four to five and I would probably be willing to bet that uh, way more than four out of five relationships are garbage just like people who just like you get into a relationship with a guy like I almost did way too fast. Like, people just say yes. They're like, somebody asked me out. Like, who cares? Like, you should know that person a little bit. I was not gonna get into a relationship with somebody that I knew for two days. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I didn't. And, uh, I am all the better for it. Um, not some of my friends that they, they got asked out for, it was like the first time ever and they just said yes <laughs> it's like it happens to a lot of people and like when they're like teens and stuff like that and they just get right into it and it's like the that person sucks and you date them for like all of high school or something like that and it's like oh my god but yeah that is my uh my story segment for the day i guess uh, we're at 27 minutes, so I'm gonna go drink my cold tea and be sad about, uh, all well, my tea being cold and some of my poor friends that have been through a lot, me included, but, yeah. That is the episode for today.